There is a fatal mistake people make when trying to save time with Keyboard Maestro. Today you'll learn exactly what it is and the number one rule for avoiding it with a simple six part automation framework. I've saved thousands of hours with this framework and I promise that if you apply all six parts, you'll level up your productivity too. The fatal mistake is this. People don't know when to make macros or not. With an hour of macro creation, most people can save dozens of hours a year. But how do you even know what to spend that hour on? Let's look at the first step of the framework. Frequency is the number of times you do a task every day or week. The more times you have to do it, the more you should think about automating it. Let's say you have to add the current date to a couple files every day. That's a much weaker choice for automation than if you have to rename hundreds of files a day. Even something simple like switching between apps might be something you do hundreds of times a day, which means you should really think about how to make it faster with macros. But frequency is only part of the puzzle. We also need to look at the next element of the framework, which is duration. Duration is how long it takes to do a certain task. For instance, I recently made a macro to convert HEIC images, which is the default iPhone photo format, to JPEGs. All I have to do is drag some HEIC files into this folder, and they automatically get turned into JPEGs. But before this macro, I would have to go online to HEIC to JPEG.com, drag and drop my files, wait for them to convert, then download them, and move them to the right folder. This whole process would take like 30 seconds. So this is where duration and frequency come together. If it takes 30 seconds to convert the files, but you only have to do this once a year, it's probably not worth it to automate this task. But if you have to do this for your job twice a day, it probably is worth it to automate it. So you need to find the things that you do very frequently that also take a lot of time and focus on automating them first. If you want me to personally help you do this, then book a free coaching call with me using the top link in the description. Just pick whatever is most convenient for you, and I'll help you start saving a lot of time with Keyboard Maestro. Okay, frequency and duration make sense, but what if you're quitting your job tomorrow, meaning you'd only have to convert the images for one more day? That brings us to part three of the automation framework, time frame. Time frame is how long into the future you'll have to do a task for. If you're quitting your job tomorrow, your time frame is one day. If you're a professional photographer, your time frame might be years, since you'll probably have to convert images for years into the future. Once you know the frequency, duration, and time frame of a certain task, you can multiply them to get a very accurate number of how much time you'll spend on that task if you don't automate it. It's kind of annoying to do those calculations manually though, but thankfully someone made a macro for this. I made some improvements to it, and you can download it and the other macros from this video in the description if you want to try them yourself. So let's use this macro with the HEIC images example. Say I need to convert the images two times a day, and it takes 30 seconds each time, and I need to do this for the next year. So this is the frequency, this is the duration, and this is the time frame. Then the macro spits out a window that says, you will need to spend 6.08 hours on this task in the next one year, since you do it two times a day and it takes 30 seconds each time. That means you will save time if you spend less than six hours automating the task. That's pretty insane. The HEIC to JPEG macro is just a few actions and it only took minutes to create, so it was definitely worth spending the time to make this macro. But even if it took five hours to make, it still would have been worth it. That's why thinking about time frame is so important. It lets you think objectively about whether you'll save time or not. In the short term, it usually will be faster to just do the work manually, which leads most people to greatly underestimate how much time they should invest in making macros. But we're still only halfway through the framework. We also need to think about reliability. Let's say that every day you go to your desktop, convert the most recent HEIC file to a JPEG, add the date to the file name, and send it in an email to your boss, all before 3 p.m. There's a lot of room for human error here. You could forget to convert it to a JPEG, or you could type the date wrong, or you could forget to send the email before 3 p.m. But to solve all this, you can just make a macro that converts the HEIC file, names it with the current date, 
and sends it in an email to your boss at 2 p.m. every day automatically. If you build and test your macro properly, it will be more accurate, consistent, and reliable than doing it manually. Your boss will never get mad at you for messing up the email anymore since the macro won't do any of those silly human things like making typos or mistakes or forgetting to do stuff at the right time. The time and frustration you save from reliable macros is hard to measure, but it's a big reason to spend time automating. So is the next part of the framework, upgrading your skills. Every time you make a macro, you get better at making macros. The first time I tried making a macro to rename files numerically, it took hours of testing, figuring out bugs, and asking for help online. Now it only takes me a few minutes to make a macro like this. So even if it took you more than six hours to make the HEIC to JPEG macro, that time isn't wasted because you gain new skills in the process. You can reuse parts of old macros in other places, you become faster at automating, and you learn new techniques that you didn't know before. Did you notice that every part of the framework so far is about saving time? Well, the last part, which is arguably the most important, has nothing to do with saving time. It's about pain. If you only have to convert HEIC files to JPEGs once a month, but you despise HEIC to JPEG.com with a passion, then it kind of doesn't matter how long it takes to automate this task. If you never have to look at HEIC to JPEG.com again, that's a win for you. And that's why thinking about how painful a task is, is so important. Macros are about more than saving time. They're about eliminating frustration, automating the stuff that makes you resent your work, and avoiding the burnout that comes from doing tedious tasks over and over. So now you know how to think about automating your job with Keyboard Maestro. The algorithm thinks you'll like this video next. Let's see if it's right.